Hey guys, it's May May and it's time to do some decorating on this little mailbox. So I know you're wanting me to get to the mini album and I'm going to, but my fear is I might use some of my favorite pieces on the mini album and not have them for the mailbox. So we're gonna do the outside first. You know, that's how I operate. Okay, let me show you something really quick. You've been asking me how these sheets will do in the scan and cut. So this is one I cut this morning in the scan and cut and I filmed the whole process. I'm gonna put that video up for you guys to see and I will make sure that I link it in the description of this video. It will go up the same day as this video, but not at the same time because I'm gonna have to edit it and put it up. So give me just a little bit and I'll have that little quick video up. Now you'll notice there's some missing spots. Let me show you what it did just really quick. So the scanning cut has areas that it cannot read, okay? And when it can't read, it'll tell you there's items out of the um, eye of the machine that won't be cut. On this particular one, it was this big guy here, okay? And then for some reason it missed this one, and then it missed this one. The good news is it missed them for the most part. The only one that had a little issue was for some reason it could see a little bit of something right here, but honestly, a pair of scissors and a couple of snips and that guy's fine. So only a few things it didn't see to cut, but I do tell you some tips and tricks in the video for getting around that. And the other spot that I felt like was kind of a casualty was right here. I forgot to correct something here, so my lantern top is cut away from the bottom. Not the end of the world, I'll just glue them back together when I put it down. But other than that, look, I got a lot of images that we can now use on our project, okay? So I'm gonna um, leave these on here because I think they're easy to see. And the first thing I wanna do is take off all of my foliage pieces, like the poinsettias and stuff like that, because I think that's gonna be a lot of what I wanna put on the outside of my mailbox. So let me just peel these off real quick. You'll notice that my mat is super sticky, and Brother Scan and Cut mats are not this sticky, but I have a way of um, sticking mats that I'll link that video for you too, because I want you to see how I do that. It's a real big secret. I use Zig two-way glue, by the way. <laughs> There's your secret. All right, let's take off the mistletoe. Oh, there was another little spot that was kind of a casualty, and let me show you what I mean. This um, is a spot where the Scan and Cut can't see. It couldn't see that little leaf, so it cuts straight, and that really doesn't bother me. I don't think it's a problem at all. All right, let's start with those pieces. Oh, and these pine cones. Again, I don't know how I'm going to lay these out. There was another one. That little berry got cut away, but we're okay with that. All right, I don't know how I'm going to lay these guys out, but I want them on here, or some of them anyway. I think the foliage would be pretty on the outside. Let's start on... I don't know, should I start on the flag? I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do to the flag. I want something on it. I don't know if I want an entire poinsettia. That's so cute. <laughs> it's cute to have that little poinsettia on there. Let me see if it will hit. It will hit like that, but maybe I could lay it in such a way. See, if I do it like that, it won't hit. And then our little flag is a poinsettia. I think that's cute. I don't know. I know that's not for everybody, but I think it's cute. Let's see what it might look like if the flag was the pine cones, because they're cute too. So, I don't know. The poinsettia is cuter to me. I'm going to do it. I like it. I think it's cute. And as long as I glue this down with it shut, then that little stopper won't be in the way. But won't that be cute when it's raised up in the air to be the little poinsettias? Poinsettias? Poinsettia. How do you say it? I want to know. I'm interested. No one in my family says it the same. <laughs> Like, literally, everybody in my family says it a little different, so it's interesting to me. All right, so let's get this guy glued on and not in the way of our little stopper there. That is really cute. So, it looks like we have a little... Oh, look what I did. I got to move that. I got to move that so that'll clear. I'm glad I tested it. I got to hurry before that glue dries. Oh, I'm close. There we go. Okay, so now I can open and close it with no problem. That little leaf was in the way, but look how cute when that's lifted up. It's like a little poinsettia up there. That's adorable. Okay, so there's that one. So let's now look down here in the corner. Do I want to add pieces here and there? I just think this is these pieces are so pretty just to put wherever I can, but I again, I don't want to block my um, flag in any way. Let's see what this one looks like here. He's kind of cute, isn't he? I might even want to add another strip of some cardstock there to kind of give it some dimension. Oh, let me show you something. I had to use a pencil to make this work, which I show you in the video. So these have been pencil outlined. So I'm going to run through. Actually, I'm going to use my mono sand eraser. It's much easier to do. And I need to run through and erase these pencil marks. And honestly, you probably didn't even notice them. 
so they could probably stay there and no one else would notice them either. But on a pale image like this, sometimes you have to trace them to cut them out. I'm just gonna run through and erase these. So I've decided that these holly leaves are beautiful right here. And I think I wanna run a contrasting piece of cardstock here. So let me look at what I've got. So I personally love this pale blue color. I think that is so pretty. I think I want it to live right there. I wanna see how easy this is to close with that there. I think when it's glued down, it'll definitely not be a problem, but see how pretty that is to add that little bit of contrast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some glue right here. And then I'm just gonna place this and cut it off. Actually, I'm gonna run a little bit more. That looks like a lot of glue on camera, but for some reason, it, it kind of, the camera blows out the, the glue. It's not that much. You don't need a whole lot, and if you get it too wet, it'll warp, just like any paper, so you don't want to get it too wet. But then I'm just going to run that down like so. I just think that's pretty to have that little bit of contrast, and now I'm going to cut the end away. It's right to that edge. I don't think I quite got it. There we go. I want to make sure that's glued down real well. Again, you want those edges glued down well because if they're not, over time, they can get lifted off. All right, so that blue piece is glued down. It's not really getting in the way of my flag. I'm having to lift it a tiny bit, but not bad. And then I want to put this guy down. And I, I don't know if I want him to go, oh, I kind of like him that way. I like some of him hanging off the edge there. And I think I'm going to pop him up on some foam because then I can maybe stick some stuff around it. And I'm going to go back to the paper pack to look for some of those items. Now, I'm using a good bit of foam here because... This is gonna be an item that I want to last for years and years, and I'm gonna add glue, because I want it to stay. And I'm gonna put this side down, somewhere like this. Make sure your flag is closed so you're not interrupting the flag in any way, and it's fine. And then I can add some other little pretties. So I wanna show you how cute these would be. How cute would these be just to add them here and there on your mailbox? And I may end up doing that, but I wanna tell you what I'm gonna do. I wanna be real careful with that because I might want these in my mini album. So I'm not gonna put these pieces here. I think I'm gonna focus more on the larger pieces on the outside, so like these big pieces of foliage and things like that. So I'm gonna stop here on this side and flip it over and go to the other side because I have an idea for here that I think will be real cute. Do you see these little banners? They are so cute. They're a little curled from being on the Scan and cut mats, let me flatten them out a little bit. But look how cute these are. And wouldn't these be cute to have like this with maybe a little foliage starting them and stopping them? So like if this one was over here, I'm just gonna play, lay some down and see what it looks like. And maybe one of these poinsettias is over here. I don't know, I kinda want something smaller. I also have this star. I need to erase my pencil lines on it, but I have this star. And I could even put some smaller stars on the ends. Let me see. So I've got pieces sitting around here everywhere, so I'm sorry for the mess. I'm thinking it might be cute to hang maybe some mistletoe from behind here. I might want to put it something like that. It's big and it doesn't it doesn't really match as far as the proportions are concerned, but I think it's kind of cute like that to have it kind of behind it and then have that over there and maybe add a big star behind here just to build up some dimension and then put um, another star here and maybe a little one here to end the Merry Banner. I think that'd be kind of cute. I like the Merry Christmas together. I don't really love that angle. I'd want to change it. But I think it's cute. And I'd lay some down and then pop some up with dimension. Obviously, the underneath pieces I would lay down and then anything I could pop up like this star, this star, and this star, I would pop up. So I'm going to do it. I think it's cute. I also want to add that blue strip here too. So let's do that.
So here's something I decided to do. I've decided to carry this border all the way around the mailbox. So I'm gonna add it on the back side as well. So I've cut myself two pieces. I've got the red piece that's on the bottom of the other side, and then I cut myself the little blue piece. And then I'm gonna add some ribbon. I got an idea. Now once this is dry, I need to come in here and ink it because I did not ink it before I put it down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this so that everything will match. Because if you remember, I inked the other pieces. I'm gonna ink up here. I didn't do that on the other piece, but I think it needs it. All right, and now what we're gonna do is add some ribbon. So check this out. I'm gonna come to this side. This is one of those things I probably should have thought about before, but it's hard to do when you're just kind of designing. You just kind of play and add as you go and you'll end up with a result you really like. All right, so I'm gonna take a piece of this ribbon and I'm gonna glue it down under here. I may need to lift that up a tiny bit. Nope, I just was hung on something there. No, it goes under there. And I want to run this ribbon all the way around at this base like this. And it's got a little shimmer to it. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but it's a shimmery ribbon. So I'm gonna cut a nice straight edge here. Perfect. And then I'm gonna run glue. So I'm gonna start my glue here and go under here as much as I can. It'll be fine. And then run it out this way. And I'm gonna glue my ribbon down. So I wanna get the front end down first. You could totally hot glue this. With this mesh ribbon though, I find that I like to use my art glitter glue. Two reasons, the, me the art glitter glue will get in there and dry clear and matte. And also I can touch it right away and not worry about burning myself. So I'm just gonna put that down like so. It's a little crooked back there, isn't it? That's the cool thing too, I can move this and get it in place. And then I'm gonna wanna let that dry for a bit. So while that's drying, I'm gonna tie a bow because I wanna put a little bow at the bottom on the front or on the side. I don't know which is the front and the side. I guess the front of the mailbox is the door, right? So I'm just gonna do a little air bow. That's what I call these. I just hold that in the air, make a loop and then send this one through the other side. And because this is wired, it doesn't really matter how I start, it's how I finish, right? So um, we're just going to play with this until we get it just like we like it. And I wanna leave myself room to put something in the middle. I don't know what yet. I'm gonna look around in the paper pack and see what's in there I might wanna put in the middle. But I wanna leave plenty of room for whatever it is to live right inside of there. And I'm gonna cut away more than I need because I don't know how long I want my tails to be. I'll do that once I get to it. All right, and I want this to live right in this area, down kinda of low, like so. And this probably is a good spot for hot glue. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna use my art glitter glue and then sit something on it and let it dry. But this is a good place if you want to use art, um, hot, glitter, hot glue right there. And I want my tails to kind of go sideways. So I'm gonna glue this here. And I'm just gonna hold this for a little while and let that catch. So my bow is off to the side drying. And I think I wanna put this little guy over the bow. I think that'll be cute. So I'm gonna take some foam tape. I have glue all over me, y'all. <laughs> If you see me picking glue off, you know I have it everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna put some foam tape at the top and the bottom of this little house, and I'm gonna let it kind of sandwich the bow in. So just leaving myself a little gap there, picking these little guys off. I'm gonna add some glue just for safekeeping, just the tiniest bit, it really doesn't need too much. And then what we're gonna do is with our bow, I'm gonna go across it like so, and just sandwich it in with that little house. I think that'll be cute. It'll be like having a little pendant on there. And then I'm gonna cut my ribbon somewhere like here, right outside of the loop, like so. So there's just a little bow there, that's cute. And then I may add some stuff around it. Let's see what I've got. So here's a strange little thing I've decided to do. I've taken some Baker's Wine, just some strips of it, and I have tied little knots in the end there. And I'm gonna treat these almost like little holly berries or little stems in and outside of that bow. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna put a little glue on one end here, and I'm gonna feed it in behind the bow like that. And I'm gonna just let that catch where it does. And then wherever the knot is, I'm just gonna put a little glue and catch the knot as well. 
just for some texture coming in and around the bow. I just thought this might be something different. I'm always looking for a way to use stuff differently, and this is a kind of a different way. So I'd cut several, so I may have some that are too long for where I need them, but that's okay. I'll just trim them down, and let's tuck this one in. Now, you may have some foliage you want to use. You may have some leftover greenery for some project, or who knows what you got laying around. Looking for my pokey tool. Seems to be the story of my life. Here it is. And I'm going to move that in a little bit. Like so, let that catch wherever it does. And then I'm just gonna glue that little bead down, that little knot, just right like that. And I'm just gonna do that around the bow just to give a little texture. So there we go, that just added a little texture. I think it's kind of cute. Now I want to work on the front, which is gonna bring this really close to you guys. I've been kind of saving um, this pine cone for the front. I think it's really cute and I think it'd be cute down here. And I'm trying to decide if I need to, uh, trying to decide if I wanna wrap that red border around the top. And to be honest, I think I do. So let me cut the pieces, the red and the blue, to add that here. So I got my little stripes added to the front and this little pine cone, I just want it to live right down here. I think it is so cute. And I have some foam that I wanna put it on. So I'm gonna lay that down here and do that. So a piece to this side and a piece to this side. And like on the rest of my foam, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. You don't need too much, just a little bit. And then this guy's gonna live right up here, just like that. I think that's so cute. And I have a special added something. I may come, I think I'm going to do it, um, but I, don't, I can't do it yet. This is my last strip of this particular twine, and I want to make sure all of this matches. But here's what I'm going to do. Do you guys remember the rusty bales that we carry in store? We, we got these last year, and we still have some, and they're so cute. They're rustic accents. We have them in our store, and they come in a big old bag. Look, you can't see them because they're so rusty, but they're in there. So here's three of them, which are adorable. And I want to hang them from the little guy here. So I want them to hang down and just ha just be a noisemaker. I think they'll be cute. All right, so the first thing I should do, I'm trying to decide if I want to tie my, I think I do. I'm gonna tie my twine here first. And or do I wanna do that? Yes. I'm thinking about it, y'all, I'm thinking, yes. I'm gonna tie my twine here. This will get me two, and then I'll just need to tie one more to get the other one on. So this will this will tie two bells on. You see that? So I'm gonna cut that off. So I have that, and then I want one more bell. And so I'm gonna cut a smaller piece. I'm gonna cut this in half, and then I'm just gonna tie this on at the top. I just think it's easier to do it this way than after the bells are on. Plus, the noise would be too much for you guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm pulling it super tight. I don't need this extra bit of string, so I'm gonna cut that one away. And that leaves me with three pieces to put my bells on, okay? So, these bells work with the bead stringer, so you can put your bead threader through, and then pick that little guy up and then pull it back through. And I gotta be honest, the um, that metal on metal is too much for me. Y'all know this, right? Then what I'm gonna do is just tie a couple of knots to hold that into place. And I don't care if, I don't want them all the same height or length or anything, so I'm just gonna kinda go, I'll go kinda high with this one, and then I'll do the other two in two different, two different lengths. My knot needs to be big enough for it not to fall out, for the bell not to pass, and that's plenty. And then I'm gonna cut the difference off. I'm sorry if my hands are all in the way, but I think you understand. Just making a knot to hold that little bell in place. Isn't that cute? It'll be real cute when it can actually hang. So let me put the other two on. So see that little cluster of bales? They are so cute. And now it'll jingle a little bit. They're very, very faint, but I love those. That's so cute to have a little something hanging there. I think I'm gonna use these pieces that I have left over 
in that same way I did on the side and put some around those pine cones. So just tying a little knot on the end, like I did over there, trimming some of that away. And then I'm gonna tuck some behind the pine cone like I did and just give this a little texture also. You guys, I love the little coffee cup image so much. Let me show you. I'm gonna put some foam on the back of it. And I've gotta put it to one side because I just think this will be so cute kind of here with the little pine cones kind of drop down a little bit. So I'm gonna put the foam in this area. I don't have a whole lot of space because of my um, baker's twine, but I can glue it to the pine cone also. So I'm put just a little foam to kind of hold it up. Yeah, and then glue it to the pine cone. This will be so cute. I just love this piece. I was gonna save it for the mini album, but I've kind of taught myself and do if I need to, I can use my six by six pad in the mini album. So you know how we talk ourselves into things, right? Okay, so this guy needs to live in this area. I think he's too cute and just add that little cup there. And then all I wanna do is do the back and maybe consider some stuff around the base. And y'all know how I tell y'all all the time to use your least favorite things on the bottom and the back. So these little guys right here, although they're perfect for this, but they don't really, they're not really my style. I don't really love them as much. I think they're gonna go to the back and I think they'll be pretty back there and it'll give me something on the back just if somebody goes, you know, picks it up and looks all the way around. But I don't really need to use my favorite pieces back here. And I'm going to, I can't lay this down. I can lift it up like this. I'm gonna put one here. And then I'm just gonna take this one and just kind of nestle it beside it there. And then I think I'll see if I can find some leaves or some foliage to stick around there. So you remember that little piece of um, mistletoe I had? I missed this little section here. I just took my scissors and went to it and kind of fussy cut around it. And this is gonna be what I'm gonna use for some foliage on the back. I know mistletoe might not be the thing to tuck into a poinsettia, but again, this is where I wanna use things that I probably wouldn't use in the main album or on the front or the sides of the box. And I'll lift this up so you can see that one I just glued straight down just to give it a little something on the back. So there we go. Now I want to decide if I want to put anything on the base or if I want to wait. I'm leaning toward wait, but let me tell you why. <laughs> because I've got some other ideas of things I might wanna do, but I kinda wanna do work on my mini album a little bit before I use this whole paper pack. Even though I know that from year, you know, year after year, I'm gonna use a different paper pack. But this year I'm wanting to use that one you know, for the inside and the outside. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, look inside. It is so cute. So there you go, guys. That is our little mailbox. That is one side. Here is the front. I think it is adorable. And I wanna remind you, subscribe to my channel so when I'm doing series like this, you can be um, notified that I'm doing it. And the only way, only thing you have to do to make that happen is make sure once you subscribe, you click the bell notification and tell it that you would like to get all notifications from my channel. And also be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'd love to see your thumbs up. It makes me know that you're enjoying the project. And lastly, if you're doing this or any project that I've inspired you to do, head to our customer gallery on our website and share it with us so we can see. We love to see what you guys are doing. It's so cool. It just blesses my heart. And you can do that with um, just going to maymaymadeit.com and customer gallery and upload your pictures. Thanks so much for being here today, guys. And until next time, bye-bye.